Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, here, can you can, can you just put it right here? Thank you so much. You rock. Oh yeah, take a good old picture. That's a good one. Hey, you as well. I see a lot of people are saying that my interaction with the Postmate driver was awkward. Okay, well, I'm an awkward guy. I don't want anyone to have high expectations when they meet me, you know, because it, it could be weird and awkward. You know, that's just how I am with humans. I, I've said this before, and I don't know if people can relate to me. I do not feel human. I feel like I'm pretending to be human. So my interactions are strange with people. I'm, I'm, get, I'm getting better at it, okay? There was one point in my life where I didn't know how to talk to anyone, okay? This is just something that I learn more and more every day. I'll never get quite the hang of it, but God damn it, we are getting there. I shot a music video today, so that's why like, I'm in this music video-y outfit. If it is like that, you know? I mean, homeless man jacket, you know, whatever. That's why my back seat's so dirty. Uh, I have a game of chess. I played chess in the music video with a girl. That was my first interaction with a girl this week. Oh. Garfield. I don't know why Garfield's in here. Uh -oh. I just have too many things. Like, I, I I need to throw this away. I need to throw the butthole bear away. He's honestly been giving me nightmares. What do I have back here? What, what junk do I have? Oh, yeah. I caught this last week, the mythical chupacabra. But a lot of people said it's not real in it's Mexico, but yeah, I saw it in my backyard, so I caught it last week. Is this a car tour? Um, you know what? I didn't want to turn it into that, but I just want to be honest with you guys. I'm kind of a hoarder. Don't mind me drinking Prime, by the way. They, they send it to me for free. They do, I think they might do it in hopes that I post about it. I don't, but I guess I am drinking it on stream right now. I'm not going to endorse it, you know, but they do send it to me. They send it to me actually a lot, and I, I could give my honest opinion. Maybe they would want that. I think it kind of tastes like cum. Logan Paul's cum. But I still drink it. You know, I, I'll drink anything in front of me. Um, okay, I just set myself up for a joke. I don't want to see anything in the chat about that incident, okay? The music video turned out really well, though. Uh, it's for my song, I Want Your Feelings. I asked everyone on Twitter what I should make my next music video for, and that was the one that won. So, you know, I, I got right to it. And shout out to my director, Sam. She She's the fucking best. I want her to, like, direct every single music video that I have coming up. Okay, I see a lot of people saying PP boy in the comments, and I think that we should just tone it down a notch. If anyone ever comes up to you and they talk about some type of pee incident with me just don't even listen don't even listen because it's fake poo boy okay i don't even know where you guys are getting this poo boy i don't know if there's a poo story but you know this is just all fabricated you know this is a hit piece on me this is blackmail okay it's because people have been gassing me up a lot lately it's because my my viewers have been going up lately and people just want to tear me down okay but i'm not gonna let it get to me all right you took a shit behind your couch got That never fucking happened. <laughs> so never speak on that again. I just farted under my Spider-Man blanket. All right. You know, really, it really scares me to think about what everyone's doing behind their screen watching me right now. I'm making cheese toast. Okay, wow. You know, it's actually interesting that everyone's doing a lot of cool things behind their camera watching this stream. I'm very flattered to uh, be a part of your day like that. I'm eating my toenails. Okay, never mind. I'm cleaning my ass. Okay. I'm licking blood off my finger. All right. I want to run kids over with my mobility scooter. Okay. You know what? I'm just going to stop reading chat for a second. So right here, we have $100 worth of food from Erwan. If you didn't know what Erwan is, it is a market in Los Angeles where rich people go and it's just their Walmart. They spend like, you know, $50 on mac and cheese that's actually worth a couple dollars because they need to spend money to feel something. We're only getting this for the meme, okay? I would never, you know, I don't care how much money I have in life. I'll still order off the dollar menu. What do you smell like? It depends on what part of me that you smell. My shirt smells like cologne. My armpits smell like chicken nuggets. And, <laughs> and <laughs> what does $100 get you? It has to be a lot of food, right? I kind of want to go just to see celebrities. I want a celebrity watch. You never know who's going to walk through that door. I actually knew someone that used to work at Air One, and they saw celebrities there all the time. Okay, we got a shake right here. This is uh, the baby shit shake. Oh, it's just called Heavenly, okay? And th they're notorious for saying that basically their drinks give you this crazy superpower where your skin gets smoother and you feel younger. But honestly, I feel like this is just gonna make me shit my pants. We have this dinner tray right here. This, this is the typical dinner from Air One. It's actually the most popular thing that you could get. Everyone's talking about it. And in here, we got salmon, buffalo cauliflower, and mac and cheese. And we cannot forget the pizza. Buffalo chicken pizza. 
fun, right? Oh, wow. You'd think they'd give you some fucking utensils. You'd think if I spent a hundred fucking dollars, they'd give me some goddamn utensils. Jesus Christ. We have the fork. I think we should just start with the meal first. That's usually the uh, starter, right? The uh, the meal before you get into the smoothie. I think the smoothie's for after, and then the pizza's just for fun. Jake, there is a spider. You know what? I will literally hit you with a car. Do not ever say that there's a spider on me when there's not. I'm ra a rack. What's it called? A rack? A rat? Archaeopod? I'm archaeopod phobic. I do not fuck with spiders, so let's just get that out of the way. Never speak on spiders again. It makes me uncomfortable even reading the word. Let's start with the salmon. Let's start with the entree here, okay? It smells expensive. It really does. It smells really good. It's, it's like I'm, I'm about to indulge in a very good meal. Let's see how it feels on the top. Oh, that's good. That's good. Can't even deny that. Can't even deny that. Oh, it falls right off. Look at that. There it is. The Air One Sa The Air One Salmon. It is good. I wish there was a dip. There's not enough like pepper and stuff and salt and stuff, but it just, it's, it's good. I think it's good. You know what? I'm, I'm a little bit of a whore for low quality food. I like when stuff tastes really greasy and it just, it tastes a little too healthy. Let's act like I'm a person that indulges in very healthy food. I, I'd give it a, I'd give it a, mm, God damn it. I've had really good salmon. I have had really good salmon. I'll give it a four out of five. I think that's fair. Let's get into this buffalo cauliflower. I, I, I am kind of a, I'm a calorie whore. I, I, I hate to admit it. I really do. Okay. But it's because I overeat I, and it's a problem for me. These streams help me. And I actually see a lot of people say that it helps them. There was a time when any food in front of me i would literally just scarf it down but now i take a couple bites then i put it away it teaches me it teaches me that i don't have to scarf down everything in front of my face i know it's random but if this stream like just helps anyone in any way with food i mean that's fucking awesome like it helps me in my own way you, you guys are the best so we got the buffalo cauliflower right here oh my god oh i'm about to get slutty holy shit it's like a buffalo wing but it's cauliflower and sometimes, I'm, I'm not gonna be like, I'm not gonna like, cauliflower tastes like farts. But this does not taste like farts. This actually tastes good. It like just tastes like straight up buffalo. I love it. Let's say that you're a vegetarian and this is the only version of wing that you could eat. When it comes to Air One, I think you're gonna be very satisfied. Oh my shit. Oh my god, I would slap that on a bitch's ass. That is the best thing so far. The buffalo cauliflower, can you believe it? That's a five, okay? We're working with very high ratings here. You know, it's gonna be really hard to impress me with mac and cheese because I have had amazing mac and cheese. I've been to cookouts, I've I've been to Thanksgiving, I've been to Christmas, and that home-cooked mac and cheese, when they make it really cheesy and slutty, oh my god. But it's from Air One, you know, maybe, maybe it's delicious. It might also have kind of a healthy taste to it. I'm a little scared of that because I don't think that mac and cheese should be healthy. Whoa, oh, whoa. Goosebumps on my gooch. Gooch bumps. Has the little burnt top to it. You know, I love that. I love when my food's burnt. I don't know why, but I, I just do. I love when pizza's burnt. You put in a frozen pizza and it's burnt on the top. It's like brown. I love that shit. Here we go. Holy fuck. I just, I don't, I don't even know what to say right now. It met the expectations. Five on the mac and cheese. You know what? Fuck it. Let's say five on the salmon. This is a five out of five. Oops. <laughs> this is a five out of five meal. Holy shit. I got this because I wanted to talk shit on it. I wanted to make fun of it. I wanted to be like, oh, you know, rich people and they're getting this food that just tastes like any other food anywhere else. But God damn it. It's absolutely delicious. Okay. Uh -uh. I think it's time we get into this smoothie. This is called Heavenly. It's cucumber, pineapple, kiwi, spinach, broccoli. Okay, th there's a lot of good stuff in here. Okay, it smells like it smells like veggies. There's little pieces of broccoli in it. I don't know if you can see that. They're floating around here. You know the little broccoli pubes. You know the top of a broccoli. 
Oh, that's good. I wish we had more information on it because it just gives it a title. And I know, I know I'm calorie conscious. I know it's cringe. You know, you don't want to be calorie conscious. But since it's like a health drink, I want to know like all the facts about it, like what's going on here. But it's it's kind of like a, almost like a mystery drink. Mm. Like it tastes good, but it's like, is it high protein? Is it high calorie? You know, when it comes to a health drink, I kind of want to know that stuff. That part about it's kind of butt shit, but it, it does taste good. I'll give it three out of five, okay? You know, Erwan, you can't have everything, all right? I will be walking around with this bottle so people know I shop here. Let's get into this buffalo chicken pizza. I'm not gonna lie, it looks fucking incredible. Wow. Well, what, what we all got in here? I think this is onion. Yeah, lots of onions, got spinach on the top, got chicken, got buffalo. Let's get into it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I will be finishing this. I will be finishing this. <laughs> slap that on a bitch's ass? No. You know what? When something's good, I say I'll side slap it on a bitch's ass. But you know what? It's so good. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even let this near anyone's butt. Mmm. My God. I, I can't even picture another human by me. And, you know, I just want to be alone in this alone in my bed. Moan louder, Queen. Okay. You know what? That did it. You know what? I didn't care to moan, but you know, when you're telling me to moan louder, I'm just gonna stay silent now. Keep going. I'm almost there. Okay. You know what? I'm. I'm not coming back till you stop jerking off. Get your hands off your penis and I will resume my meal. This is one of the best pizzas I have ever had in my life. Okay, my favorite pizza is in LA. It's called 786 Pizza. And you know what? This might be a little bit of a controversial opinion, but I liked 786 Pizza more than I liked any pizza I had in Italy. And I can defend myself because they say that when there's a good chef in a lot of countries, they will come to LA and start a business here. So LA is kind of like, almost like a food capital of the world. And I think that's what it's going on at 786 Pizza. That's why I like it so much. But what the fuck? This is like comparable to that. This is, this is insane. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Five out of five for the pizza. I can't believe this, guys. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Air One is known as the most expensive market in LA. And you know, it just feels like everyone that goes in there has a stick up their ass. And I was expecting it just to just to taste so normal. Like people only go there because they need to spend money to feel something. After eating this meal, I'm thinking in my head, this place is like almost worth it. Like, yeah, their prices are ridiculous. But if you've ever wanted to try it once, like let's say you're coming out to LA and you want to get a little bit of an experience, then go to Air One. Because if you go to Hollywood Boulevard, you'll probably get robbed and it smells like piss there. So if you guys were curious about the price of everything, the barbecue pizza was $20, which honestly, I don't think is that bad at all. The combo plate was $34. I think that was a little hefty, but you know what? It's so good, I'm almost thinking it's worth it. And the smoothie was $12. Now that comes up to $70 on the receipt, but I postmated it, so okay, I know, it wasn't $100. Okay, maybe I should've gotten another plate. But it sounded good for the stream, it sounded good when I said $100. But uh, yeah, I, I, paid, I paid a lot for uh, you know all the fees with Postmates. It was $100 in the end, okay, I'm not lying. But the meal itself, I'll be honest, I'll give it to Air One. It was $70, but it's still pretty expensive. I'm gonna have to give my entire Air One experience a five out of five. God damn it, it deserves it. I don't care. I don't care about the price. I'm not even thinking about it, okay? Yeah, it kind of hurts the pockets, but it was an amazing experience. And when you have a great experience, it's priceless. It... Damn it, I ruined my fucking speech. It's priceless. <laughs> If you guys want to be in this live chat audience, um, they are a little scary, but in a good way. Then go to twitch.tv slash jakeweber69. Shop my merch at jakemerch.com. If you support me, dude, read my merch, dude. It's it's sick, too. It's, you know, it's not like cringe. And stream my music, stream Animal. I'm trying to get Animal a lot of plays. So, you know, clap me up, gas me up. Stream Animal. Love you guys so much. Bye.